Hey guys, what's up? So the new Legend of Korra episode came out today, and since I'm a huge fan, I decided, what the heck, I'll review it. So I'm going to say it now, there is going to be spoilers in this video. You cannot talk about an individual episode of television without spoilers. And so if you haven't seen the episode, go watch it on Nick.com. It's free to watch. You can stream it. Come back, watch the video then. Okay, now that we have that warning out of the way, let's start the review. A lot of stuff actually went down in this episode, so let's start from the beginning in Bossing Say. Mako and Bolin are freed by Zaheer, and they have to get their message to Korra. At one point, Mako says that we have to get it to her urgently, and that actually created some great interest because I was I was wondering the whole episode, like, wait, why did they think it's urgent? Obviously, Zaheer thinks it's urgent, but why would Mako and Bolin think this is urgent? I'm going to breeze over the next couple of minutes because... There's a lot of stuff to get to at the end of this episode, even in the middle of this episode. So, basically, Mako and Bolin, they steal an airship, they find the wreckage in the desert, they follow the tracks left by the Sand Sailor, and they find Korra at the Misty Palms Oasis. At this point, the episode was actually very light, and soon we will learn that that's actually a good thing, considering the last 12 minutes or so of this episode. We soon discover that actually the message was an ultimatum. Hence the name of the episode. So after many failed attempts to try to contact the Norva Air Temple, Korra seeks guidance. And when she does, she decides to go to Zuko. And they had a brilliant conversation. I loved the advice Zuko gave. You know, if it was probably the advice people didn't want to hear, it was what Aang would have said. And I loved that conversation so much. So this is about the end of the middle part of this episode. And this part was a bit more suspenseful. There's more intense moments, but it still wasn't as dark as last week with the whole killing of the Earth Queen. But then, the third part of this episode happened. I just gotta say, holy crap. Basically, Zaheer and his group show up, they take them hostage, but Tenzin, he just knocks them all back with one gust of air. This huge fight breaks out, and in the end though, unfortunately, Tenzin lost. However, Tenzin went out like a champ. Zaheer just comes, they're all, he's surrounded by all four of them, and Zaheer says, why don't you just give up? It's over. And Tenzin goes, as long as I'm breathing, it's not over. Of course, I had all these crazy thoughts like, what if this is the Red Wedding for the Legend of Korra? That would be so harrowing and amazing. But then, of course, it's hard to use my brain and realize that this is still Nickelodeon. You cannot kill the entire Air Nomads in one episode. So, I don't think Tenzin's dead. I knew Kai wasn't dead. They actually did show that he's not dead. I don't think Boomy and What's-Her-Name's dead. I know that's so bad. I should know her name, but I really don't. I must say, the Tenzin fight was so intense. Tenzin was beating Zaheer so badly. But of course, it's 4 on 1, and you just can't win with those odds. Overall, I thought this episode was fantastic. It was just amazing, even better than last week, which is saying a lot. And I'm not going to give an individual rating to this episode. I will rate the season when it's over. Of course, I want to hear your all's thoughts. Tell me, comment below, what did you think of this episode? I'd be amazed if you didn't at least like it in some way, but... Hey, everyone's opinion counts. Hey guys, if you liked this video, then hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to keep catching great reviews of the movies and Legend of Korra, well then just hit the subscribe button down there. It only takes a second. Thanks for watching.